The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Daniel. While I was watching, thrones were set in place, and one most venerable took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, and its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was in session, and the books lay open. I was gazing into the visions of the night when I saw, coming on the clouds of heaven, as it were, a son of man. He came to the one most venerable and was led into his presence. On him was conferred rule, honor, and kingship, and all peoples, nations, and languages became his servants. His rule is an everlasting rule, which will never pass away, and his kingship will never come to an end. And our response is taken from Psalm 138. I thank you, Yahweh, with all my heart, for you have listened to the cry I uttered. In the presence of angels I sing to you. I bow down before your holy temple. I praise your name for your faithful love and your constancy. Your promises surpass even your fame. You heard me on the day when I called, and you gave new strength to my heart. All the kings of the earth give thanks to you, Yahweh, when they hear the promises you make. They sing of Yahweh's ways. Great is the glory of Yahweh. And a reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. John. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming, he said of him, There truly is an Israelite in whom there is no deception. Nathanael asked, How do you know me? Jesus replied, Before Philip came to call you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus replied, You believe that just because I said I saw you under the fig tree? You are going to see greater things than that. And then he added, In all truth I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending over the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord.